Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, today we're going to do a random ranking, and today's random ranking is Disney themed in preparation for a larger Disney project that I have coming down the road here. Fingers crossed I get it done. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to my movie collection beside me, which is my Disney collection, and we're going to pick out three movies and then rank those movies from most favorite to least favorite or least favorite to most favorite. It, is there a way I should be saying that? I feel like I've been saying that for like years and it just confused me all of a sudden. I, I said it with no problem before, but now it's confusing me. Anyway. Let's get to picking some Disney movies. They're right here beside me. Ooh, this one has a slip cover. Ooh, um, this one doesn't. That one feels like an old DVD. Ooh, what do we got here? Ooh, ooh, another slip cover. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, okay. Oh, maybe some hot takes here. <laughs> okay, so, um, okay. First, we're going to start off with... Beauty and the Beast, which is a part of the Disney Renaissance. And this movie was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. It was the very first animated movie to be nominated. And it was like the first Disney movie to be nominated for Best Picture since Mary Poppins. It had been so long since this had happened. And then the first time, again, for a feature, or yeah, feature length animated movie to be nominated for Best Picture. That I just think that's really cool. And it hasn't been done since in a category of five. It has been done since, but in an expanded category. Movies like Up or Toy Story 3 or has there been another one? I think, I think it might just be those two. But this one made it in in five. So let's say the Academy never expanded. Would this still be the only animated movie to ever be nominated for Best Picture? I like to think so. Why? Because this is a part of the Disney Renaissance, and I love the Disney Renaissance. And Beauty and the Beast, some days, is my favorite film from the Disney Renaissance. You know what? Maybe it is. I mean, this is usually the one I go with. And it's the one I love the most. I love the side characters. I love Lumiere. I love Chip. They were some of my favorites when I was growing up. Um, you know, Beast is cool. Belle is cool. It's just, it's just great. I, I, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Um, they, they incorporated some of that uh, 3D animation during this ballroom scene. Uh, it was very innovative. And Howard Ashman, Alan Menken, beautiful songs. Don Hahn. Uh, produced um, and it was directed by two very young people two very young animators directed this movie um, but yeah this is a fantastic film next we have Bugs Life a Bugs Life an often forgotten Pixar movie sometimes overlooked and sometimes underrated but I think this is a good film um, I think now we have so much Pixar content at this point that it probably does rank a little lower when we're looking at Pixar in general but for a long time I felt like people were sort of dismissing this movie not giving it the credit it deserves uh, but that's the thing like with Pixar they've made so many great movies you know some something has to be at the bottom so I also get that but I, I, I felt like because this one was so often placed at the bottom people sort of disregarded it and and thought of it as the bad Pixar movie. But I don't think it is a bad Pixar movie. I think it's a great Pixar movie. And then we have another one. I think this might be my wife's favorite. Um, got that nice slip cover on there. Haven't opened it yet because, you know, Disney+. Plus. Um, and, yeah, I think this one's probably in top five for my wife. Maybe my favorite uh, or uh, her favorite Pixar movie. I don't know. I'd have to ask her, but she does really enjoy it. Um, our kids really enjoy it, enjoy it. Um, actually they haven't watched it in a long time, but there was a period where they were watching it a lot. They especially love the opening when, um, is her name Riley? Is that right? Um, you know, the, the main girl who's not on here at all. That's interesting. Yeah, she's not in here, but the human girl, right? Like the, these are her thoughts right there or whatever. Um, they really liked the opening when she's a little baby. Like they loved that part and the music for that part. It just, they thought it was great. So how are we going to rank these? You know, I think I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, 
You know, okay. Yeah, I, I, even after all that talk <laughs> about Bugs Life and how underrated it is and doesn't belong at the bottom and all of that, I think I'm going to have to put it at the bottom. So, Goofy, you're in my way. Okay. Look at that. What is that? A kid's hat? Okay. So I think what I'm going to do here is very clearly, very obviously going to put Beauty and the Beast at number one. I mean, that that's probably my, my favorite Disney animated movie right there. So no, no question. No question right there. And then I'm going to go inside out because there's that really cool part when they end up in like a two-dimensional plane and there's just so many art jokes in it. And I love that moment um, when everybody sort of flattens out and becomes abstract and uh, to like near non-representational. I just, I think that part is great. Plus, you know, it, it is, it is nice uh, story and probably a helpful one for kids and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to go inside out, but mostly because I like how creative it is. It's extremely creative where A Bug's Life um, underrated, underappreciated. It is a good movie, but unfortunately, something does have to go in the third place. And in this, it's it's a bug's life. That that's the problem with it. You know, it's it's just a uh, quality filmmaking, um, but it just unfortunately ha it, it's low. It's low. I'm sorry, a bug's life. I feel bad about it. But yeah, this is my ranking: Beauty and the Beast, Inside Out, and A Bug's Life. So my question to you is: Have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.